Hello and welcome. We're talking about how to set up a test lab for Centrify Privilege Service Customer Managed. And as you know, uh, it's delivered as a SaaS solution or as a um, customer managed. And uh, customer managed requires high availability using Windows clusters. And if you're here, you're you're trying to learn how to set up your uh, base lab, right? So um, this videos can be watched on any order. So uh, we're talking about consoles. Right, and the idea here is what are the consoles that you need in your environment? So in my environment, I have several systems, right? And I've chosen the one called Collector 2 to have my, my consoles. So the important consoles that you need are the, D, the DNS console, right? So uh, DNS management, right? Because uh, part of what you'll be doing is creating a CNAME record um, to resolve on your primary node. So that's why you need DNS manager. Uh, you also need ADUC, right? You need Active Directory use on computers. And the reason being is because uh, when you set up CPS, uh, the, the cluster, I, I must say, the Microsoft cluster, there's going to be a um, basically a management object created um, in the particular Active Directory. So, um, and as you can see, it's here from a test that I've made. And uh, in order for you to see that things are healthy, you need to be able to look at Active Directory, right? Also, you may need it to look at uh, act, um, Centrify objects too, and to create test users. Um, another tool that you need is a Failover Cluster Manager, right? And uh, this tool is the one that allows you to connect to your clusters, take a look at the health of them, and all uh, and all that nice stuff, right? So, um, and uh, here's what we have here. This is the way you connect, and you can manage things over, over there. And, um, you know, uh, additionally, you need uh, the certificates management, um, actually not necessarily certificate management, but uh, you need to be able to request a certificate and I'll have a video for that. But you may need the, the, the certification authority MMC because uh, if your um, SSL certificate, the web server certificate does not allow for, um, uh, does not allow for uh, exporting the private key, you may need to come into this um, um, into this uh, management uh, interface and launch this and actually create another certificate template that will allow you to export the private key. So, um, uh, and, and again, I, I had to do that before. Yeah, I basically duplicated the, the, the template uh, up the version and then I allowed the private key to be exported. Right, so uh, and that way I can create a PFX file, and I'll show you that in a video. So um, yeah, so pretty much uh, the rest is maybe you need the Centrify consoles um, as well, uh, and if you want to review um, recorded sessions, you need you definitely need the Audit Analyzer, and that's all you need. So um, we'll continue with other videos.